Hi, my name is Ed Rudiger and I'm pastor here at Cove Presbyterian Church. I'm so glad you called our prayer line. Before we have a word of prayer together, though, I'd like to share with you some scripture and a devotion I wrote. The scripture passage comes from the Revelation of John. And to the angel of the church and to the angel of the church in Sardis, write, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name of being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and is on the point of death, for I have not found your works perfect in the sight of God, my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Obey it and repent. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come to you. Yet you have still a, a few persons in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me dressed in white, for they are worthy. If you conquer, you will be clothed like them in white robes, and I will not blot your name out of the book of life. I will confess your name before my Father and before his angels. Let anyone who has an ear listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. And here's a devotion that I entitled, Play Dead. Last year, the Rudiger household was increased by one little dog. And I've got to tell you, she has completely changed our lives. As a matter of fact, it's become hard to remember a time when Coco wasn't around. I mean, it seems like I've been going for that early morning walk around the neighborhood forever. And it's hard to remember the time when I wasn't trying to type with a dog in my lap. Of course, it helps that Coco is not only cute, but was really easy to housebreak. And that certainly made things better. But I guess we kind of dropped the ball, not teaching her other tricks, you know, like sit, shake, speak, and everybody's favorite, play dead. As a matter of fact, I'm afraid that if you told her to play dead, she'd just look at you, wag her tail, and sort of wave at you as she stands on her hind feet. Of course, according to what the angel said, the church in Sardis had just the opposite problem. You see, they were playing at being alive in the spirit and active in following Jesus. But in actual fact, they were as dead as a doornail. And even though that's certainly a bad thing, I think I can understand how it happened. You see, they probably started with all kinds of energy and excitement, but as time passed, they settled into a rut with a focus on the inside rather than on those who needed to hear the gospel. And they probably started to, to focus on minutia rather than on the important things in life and faith. And instead of standing up for the uncomfortable truth, they began to lie down for what was safe and expedient. You see, although they looked alive, and from a secular perspective, may have been very successful, they'd become dead inside. Something that I think we should avoid at all costs. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, be with the caller. Give them comfort and support and hope. In the name of Christ. Amen. I'm so glad you called. I'd love to visit with you. If you're ever in the neighborhood, that's 344 Main Street here in Weirton. Come up by Cove and we'll have a visit. Of course, if you're around here Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, we'd love to see you in worship. So until I talk with you again, I want you to remember, you're a child of God. And God loves you very much. Goodbye. <laughs>